You definitely. But two grown men, like two hillbillies, right. like two farmer strong hillbillies. Oh, they're going to be raping you before you can finish your sentence. Oh God! Uh, do I have to squeal? Really? Oh, I'll no, squeal so fucking loud. No, that's a dirty stereotype. That, that... <laughs> <laughs> and we're live. But yes, Kyle, we were talking about things you don't want to find in the woods. If, yeah, if really, we were talking about like how our brains work when we're sleeping, right? Like I, I was, Woody was saying how. He sleeps poorly when he's in his his camper because there's not that sort of sense of security. And I was like, well, shit, I wouldn't sleep well if I left the front door of my home unlocked. You know, there's, I'm not, I don't live in a dangerous neighborhood, but my brain would just be like, oh, we're vulnerable. Sleep lightly. You know, it would be poor sleep. And Woody was like, yeah, I'll be out there and I'll, you'll just hear something in the woods, break a stick. What do you want that to be? You know, like, you like, want no, it to be a deer or a, a big rabbit. Big rabbit. <laughs> big rabbit sounds a little scary. A little scary. A rabbit big enough to break like a two inch fucking twi- like, like stick. Yeah. Okay, back to the like deer. Like an 85 pound fucking <laughs> hopper. A deer's a really good choice. I didn't think a of it. Kangaroo talons. <laughs> the place I was staying in Coming Kentucky down. was known for some sort of mountain lion, right? It, forgive me if I have my cougars and mountain lions and bop or whatever mixed up. But So cougars and mountain thing. lions are the same thing. And then oh. there's. Uh, and then there's um, uh, and pumas as well. They're all it, it, pretty much the same fucking thing. But uh, but um, and then there's bobcats. And bobcats are like the size of a small dog. Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't want to fuck with one. They're like the same size as a lynx. Yeah, it's big enough to really cause some issues. Like so, 25, 30 pounds. I think they kept calling them mountain lions that were in this area. Of that will kill a man. Yeah. It, it, so will a man. Right, and that, that's where my head was. I'm like, oh, something broke a stick out there. The stick didn't break on its own. I don't have a lot of good choices. They did, it could uh, be the Muffin Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's and, what you want to be. <laughs> that's what I was finding interesting about our conversation. Like, what would you want it to be? And and you were kind of saying the mountain lion might be the worst case scenario. And I was like, no, the worst case scenario is a person because there's nothing scarier than a person, in my opinion. Like a person who wants to do you harm. Yeah, is the scariest animal because forget bears and lions and tigers, any of that shit. I mean, a loud pop will scare them away. A gunshot will scare yeah. them away. You know, like like just clapping your hands a lot of the times. That's what people and do, they, right? They, when they, they can't like, like they can't hold grudges or, like or drive. Sometimes they do hold grudges, actually, but 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 they're probably not going to hold a grudge against a camper. But if you make they're it, definitely out of not going to drive. I'm with you on that one. Yeah, too. <laughs> it, I'm saying that, it, like, if a man, if you piss a man off in the woods and you escape, you might have seen my license plate. He, I don't know what this guy's set of skills is. You escape <laughs> from a cougar. That's the extent of its vengeance. You're actually there like is the- that story of the man who shot the tiger and wounded it, and then the tiger stalked him back to his cabin miles away waited for him overnight and then murdered him the next day when that can't be a, is that a true story am i that's being a go- true story i can get you a link if you God want. Damn. the tiger mad at him the tiger was literally mad at him and he didn't finish the job i guess he just just plugged him once yeah a tiger is rough it's on reddit all the time like like uh, i've read the story it's on reddit all the time it's one <laughs> like of those it's, like, like, it's like an article it's not like like a green text i was staying well, do, yeah. in a tent and and this was a place like deep into the woods. There's no facilities or anything. I should be the only one there. And I picked it deep in the woods because like for that reason, kind of like, oh, this is an untrafficked area. No one will be around. And I heard two men talking. And it's like, yeah. why are there two men here? You know, it, it, if there's one guy, you might convince yourself like, oh, you know, I'm a tough enough guy. Like, I've, I've, I've got a chance. Two guys. You have to be something special to think that you can, be, you know, handle two guys at once. Yeah, I, I hope they're like little twinks and <laughs> like, like, like I think I could take two little dudes, like two like <laughs> two like micro men. Like, no, I'm not talking midgets. Like, I think I could take. I think I could take a micro man, like a little. A micro man is like literally five foot three, five foot four, and like a twink, like rail thin, no muscle on you his could. on him. You could. I can take two of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely, but two grown men, like two hillbillies, right. like two farmer strong hillbillies. Guys, oh, they're going to be raping you before you can finish your sentence. Oh God! Uh, do I have to squeal? Really? Oh, I'll no, squeal so fucking loud. No, that's a dirty stereotype. 
As they're if, they'll produce, you. If, if they'll produce a little bit of homemade like uh, lubricant, I will squeal so loud for them. <laughs> the homemade lubricant comes at the end. That's the unfortunate part of all. Oh. Of <laughs> or uh, in the or in the middle. There are two of them. Yeah. Touche. Yeah. Um so that was actually I, I've told this before, but that's why I got my first gun. I would camp by myself and just that feeling of it's not insecurity, is it being unsecure? I'm not sure. But in any case, um, yeah, that feeling of being alone at night in the woods, not sure what's mm -hmm. breaking sticks, or the two men talking. It was like, I would really like to have a pistol here with me. Nice. Yeah, on our survival trip, I remember one night. So sound carries really far in the woods at night. And uh, and I remember one night we could hear some people like hanging out and literally what you described one night. I mm -hmm. remember like way off in the direction of like where the cars were, at, you know, generally speaking we could hear like voices like talking and stuff. And it was like, ah, I'm glad we all, I'm glad we have like way too many guns here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way too many guns. Uh, but, all these guns are nothing to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah. Your hammock's not going to protect you from anything. No. Like what he's got, like what he's got an 870 and I had like an AR style 22 rifle with like 30 rounds in the magazine. I'm like, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. We, Unless I there's like 30 or 40 of them, I think we got this. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I, would, I would like hate, you like hear a little rustling. You're laying there in your little, little sleeping bag. <gasps> and then you just hear somebody like 10 feet behind you like, you breathe real loud when you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you ought to have a sleep study, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now my cousin uses what's called, what do they call it, a CPAP? No, no, he actually got the Amazon Basics version. Yeah, it works exactly <laughs> as good as the other. <laughs> I want Jeez. you to get a sleep study. Do you have anything that does a sleep study, like a Apple Watch or like something? I don't know if Fitbits do it nowadays. Uh, I I don't. No, mm. nothing. I can just slap on my wrist. Oh, but, don't you have your uh, like heart monitor from the fitness thing? I threw that away. That was trash. I threw mine away, too. I got yeah. rid of mine, but not because it was trash, because I never want to use it again, ever. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked at it, and I was like, Scourge. Yeah. <laughs> I threw that three hundred dollars. I've danced my last. <laughs> Never again. You fucking. I use some gamer words. I called it the f word. You know, you piece of shit. Just I, I threw that uh, right in the trash. I was. Happy. Remember how long it took me to get one working? Like they sent me one, and we had to literally delay the contest because I was like, I'm, I'm running. It says it's on, and it just it didn't record anything, and it took like three weeks to say. I was it. wondering. I was wondering after a while. I was like. Maybe Taylor's just not good with technology. Maybe he's like one of those women who can't figure out how a DVD player works. <laughs> as soon as like, I got like, the second one, without a hitch, worked immediately. Easy peasy. But yeah, those things suck. And also, like, it never felt it, like you were exercising. It felt more like you were just getting points, you know? Like, if you started exerting yourself too hard, you're like, oh, oh we're not trying to work out here. We're trying to... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you get into the red and you're like i can't maintain this it's like i think i can hold yellow forever maybe not red you know like I, yeah yeah Dude, you, you figure and, out you're like oh right, i can watch 10 episodes of king of hill in the row and then and just stay in yellow and then i'd be at like the top of the yellow be like whoa, whoa that's just dumb you don't want to be yeah. top of the yellow whatever range you're in you should be at the bottom of it yeah, and it's still counting the calories exactly the same the whole time <laughs> after it's like yeah i need two pizzas <laughs> yeah, that was that was silly. That that thing is. I don't even think Joe Rogan uses that method anymore for his competitions, does he? I don't think they do those competitions like that anymore. I think I, well, I think they did the use that for when they did challenge? it. They're doing sober. He is doing sober October. I saw him announce that, but I I think literally all the other guys were like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like like no no, we're not doing. I kind of see what they're like. Oh, okay, sober October. That's where I torture myself for Joe's content. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know it's what? Never mind. Oh, it's sorry. a guaranteed appearance on the Joe Rogan show, though. And they're all like comedians and stuff. Doesn't okay. matter how many times you're on the Joe Rogan show. That's how, that helps. They were all like, it's 2020, Joe. We're drinking. Yeah, it's 2020. <laughs> we're going to get fucked up. Oh, I, I just put together 2020, the, the bad year meme kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the, Wait till 2021. It's going to get wild. Oh, God. I hope so. We'll see. I hope, I oh. hope things just go off the fucking rails. Let's go.